She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with me and happy February 1st I figured what better way to start off February on my channel with a Valentine's Day project that you can make at your home with your Cricut and your Cricut Easy Press. For those who don't know, February is my month because it is my birthday month so I've always kind of loved Valentine's Day and for those who are new here, my name is Amy and I make all things Cricut related in regards to projects, tutorials, design space, tips and tricks and a lot of tech videos as well with your iPad and for downloading fonts. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and join the subscriber fam because I am so excited to be continuously growing on here for you. Now we can get into the tutorial. First, let's have Cricut Design Space up and running. Here you can see I made these beforehand, so I'm going to show you how to make the designs. So the first thing you want to do is click the text button and we're going to start with the first one, Netflix and Chill. This font is going to be in Bebes New. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but that's how I think it's supposed to be said and I think it's the perfect font it's nice and bold and I adjusted the sizing so it's not as narrow and I changed the color to red and then we can type in the words and chill and this is going to be in the font Bella Mona I did download this from Creative Fabrica and I love this font so much I think I've mentioned it before in one of my videos but I will link the fonts in the video description below so you can check them out as well next I adjusted the letter spacing and I made the and sign just a little bit smaller than the chill because I thought it looked a little bit better that way and here I'm adjusting the spacing in between end and chill and then I adjust the size as a whole once I like where it is, then I highlight everything and I group it and weld it. And one thing to note here is I grouped and welded the black text separately from the red text. Next, I'm going to type out the words I love you for the second design. And this font is called Lily Rose. It is a font that has three fonts in one. I really like that because it came with this regular font and then it also came with two script fonts. And then to make the line, I took the square shape and clicked the unlock button, shortened it so it looked like a line, and then I adjusted the length of it as well. And here I am typing Lily Rose again, and this is the script font of it. And I adjusted the letter spacing again, highlighted it, grouped it, made sure that it was the same size, and then I centered everything horizontally before I decided to group and weld everything. I changed the coloring, of course. Select the one and the strike through. You could group that and weld it, and then group the I love you and weld that separately. So that way we have just our black texts welded and then just our red ones welded so we can put them on two different mats. And don't forget to save your work. That is one of the most important steps. We could go ahead and click make it. Here I just measured it on my mat as always and I used my paper cutter which I will link in the description below because I love this thing so much especially since HTV doesn't have those grid lines on the back where you can't see if you could cut a straight line. And here you'll see I need to put the vinyl shiny side down and it's very noticeable and make sure your design is mirrored. Please do not forget that before you insert it. Then we can click the arrow button and let the Cricut cut everything. Now we can remove it. I always like to fold my mat a little and remove it away from the mat. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the red vinyl. It's funny, the back of the red vinyl actually isn't red, it's white for some reason. Repeat the same steps and remove it from the mat. And now we can start weeding our design. As always, I will first start off with removing the inside of the E's and O's. And here I think it's just the O's and the I love you and then the L and H in chill. I cut the design so I wasn't wasting any HTV vinyl. And then you can remove the background.
And then we're going to repeat the same exact thing for the red designs. Next, we can start our easy press up. I set mine for 310 degrees for 20 seconds. I like the extra five degrees. I know it's supposed to be 305, but I like 310 because it does lower when you are heat pressing. And then we can take our mat and get our wine bag, which is from Amazon. I will link those in the video description as well. And here I'm just adjusting and placing the design before I heat press. I just want to make sure that everything looks even and I remember where to mark it. Then we can can just lightly go over our canvas bag with the iron just to remove any wrinkles and here I am just placing it again on the wine bag and measuring it one more time before I actually heat press. You will do one design at a time. I decided to go with the Netflix one first and I did it for the full time. And then I removed my Teflon sheet and I removed the backing. Oh, and that came up by accident. That would have been really bad. And then I removed the carrier sheet. It was basically adhered. It definitely needed some more, but that's why we are not doing it again because we're going to heat press again with the and chill design. Put your Teflon sheet down and start heat pressing. Now we can remove both and if it looks like it's adhered, you can keep it that way. If not, I like to just do it another time because I wanna make sure it's really into the canvas bag. As you can see, it looks perfect and this is the first design. I'm going to repeat the same exact step, so I'm going to heat up the canvas bag, place the design on here. If you do want this in the middle, make sure you put the I love you a little bit up top. I personally didn't mind it to be in the middle, I wanted it to be a little bit lower because I didn't take into consideration the cross and the line. So you can see it's not perfectly in the center. If you don't want it this way, definitely move up the I love you a little bit more, but like I said, I didn't mind. Then we're going to heat press it again. I did it, I think, two to three times. And then you can remove the carrier sheet and you're all set. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I hope you can make some of your own personalized wine bags and if you did, please tag me. I will have my Instagram somewhere on the screen. I'd love to see what you guys made for your DIY wine bags. As always, every product that I've used in this video will be linked in the video description below so you can buy them as well and buy the same supplies and tools that I use. Because if you don't know by now, I mostly get everything from Amazon. All right, again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see everyone in the next one. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they wanna be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever She lives a double life, puts on a show What's under this subtle smile, we'll never know She's a Mona Lisa, everyone's 90